guys, so this video is an update to my uh, Nespresso Essenza Mini Coffee Machine review that I did two years ago when I initially purchased it. So, so far I haven't had any major issues with the machine. It still works properly and it's still my go-to coffee maker to this day. So I would reach over this machine over any other coffee maker. I have reviewed the Mocha Express um, coffee maker. You can check out my video right up here. Um, I also enjoy drip coffee, but I find that the Nespresso coffee, it's, it's just easy to use, number one, and number two, it makes consistent coffee every single time. So I've had issues with consistency, especially with the mocha pot, that every cup tastes differently, and I do not get this issue with my Nespresso, thankfully. So yeah, that's the coffee machine that I reach out for most. And um, now I want to share some of the tips. Tip one tip that I want to share is make sure you pay attention to what type of water you use. The best type of water you can use to protect your machine is uh, distilled water or filtered water or osmosis water, reversed osmosis. <laughs> so that means the water is the most pure and it doesn't have any crystals in it. The worst type of water that you can use is uh, tap water that has not been filtered or mineral water. Yes, mineral water, it can really clog up your machine. I don't recommend it at all if you want your machine to keep working for a long period of time. So the next tip is how to make sure your coffee is hot. I've received comments that uh, people are complaining that their Nespresso coffee maker makes warm or lukewarm tasting coffee and the number one tip for this is to choose a small size cup. Don't make a large cup of coffee. Obviously your coffee will get cold before you can finish it. The number two thing that you can do, and you press once and run a full cycle of a water, just a plain water. And the second cup that you're going to make, it's going to be more warm. So this helps to heat up the water and heat up your machine. So the second cup that you pull out once you brew your coffee, it's going to be slightly warmer. And the espresso doesn't boil water up to 100 degrees, so there they claim that the water is only heated up to 70 percent which is uh, 70 degrees celsius and um, i find that that really works well for me i've never found that my coffee is cold so the third thing you need to look at is your milk make sure your milk is really hot when you pour it out and don't obviously don't add cold milk or cold creamer your coffee is going to be colder much faster so i also recommend you to Make sure you heat up your milk really well and then you pour it into your cup and yeah, have smaller cups at a time and they're always going to be warm and hot. Okay, another comment that I get is, how can you use compatible capsules without ruining your machine? Um, yes, you can. I use it all the time. I like to try different uh, compatible capsules. I've tried the Lavazza, it's one of my favorites. Um, I've also tried the Starbucks, which is exactly the same as Nespresso. The quality is actually made by the same company. Um, but yeah, you can experiment now. You can find a range of coffee makers that makes capsules specifically for this machine. But one thing that I have not tried uh, is buying a reusable pot that is like a metal pot and then you grinding your own beans and adding the coffee there. Technically, you can do that, but I'm just... <laughs> I don't want to take the to bother to waste my time to grind the coffee beans every time I use it because I'm the only drink, coffee drinker in my family. So um, I would be wasting a lot more beans than just sticking to my Nespresso pot. So it's easy and convenient for me. But yeah, I recommend you to try it. It's definitely going to work. Another comment said, "Mine doesn't make a full cup of coffee. The tall cup is only four ounces. Is that correct?" Um, yes, it's correct. So the Nespresso coffee machine has two buttons. The small one makes about 40 milliliters, 40, which is like right up here, if you press a single button. But if you press double, you can get obviously 80 milliliters. You can actually squeeze 80 milliliters from almost every single Nespresso pod. And I guarantee you, you're still going to get a lot of flavor. I did a few videos on this that you would be actually wasting your Nespresso pods if you only press the small button once but um, so yeah it technically makes smaller cup of coffees you can use double shots triple shots uh, that's that's up to you um, a technical grandest size uh, 
Starbucks drink has two pods, so yeah, you'll definitely have to use at least two Nespresso pods to make the same amount of Starbucks coffee that you, you will get at a shop. So don't expect to just make a single espresso shot and get 500 milliliters, so half a liter of coffee. No, it, it will not taste good. It's not made for that kind of coffee. So the ideal coffee size is, um, the coffee cup size for this espresso machine is 150 milliliters. So for a single shot, you should use this kind of cup, nothing more. Can you make a uh, cappuccino with this? Yes, you can make. There are other coffees that you can make are uh, all espresso based. So the Nespresso I didn't mention, it makes espresso shots. So it doesn't make a regular cup of coffee. It doesn't make your American diner coffee. It doesn't make a full cup of black brewed coffee, but you can make a range of espresso based coffee uh, recipes with this machine, including the Americano. So Americano, you make it by putting a single shot of espresso and then topping it up with hot water. So you can make a full cup of coffee or you can make a latte, iced lattes and a variety of espresso based drinks, but you cannot get the full cup of black coffee just by pressing this button. I think that will be too strong anyways for, for you to consume that. <laughs> So if you like to drink cappuccino, that is, you need to follow the rule of thirds. So one third of coffee, one third of milk, and one third of foam. That will be the ideal ratio for this espresso machine. Someone asked me about tips for making a cappuccino using the espresso machine. Yes, the, this espresso machine is perfect for making cappuccinos. Um, small cups of cappuccino at a time, they're my favorite. So my tips for making the best cappuccino, start with choosing the right espresso pot. I would choose anything roast six and above. I guess I feel Nespresso makes the best coffee when um, the capsule is at a higher roast. I, I'm not sure what is the science behind that, but the higher roast, it, it tends to make a, I don't know, more flavorful coffee for this particular machine. This is one of my favorite, is the Paris Espresso. I also like the Istanbul Espresso. These two are my go-to. They're always in my collection. This is definitely an eight, so I, you can also go up to level 12, which this, um, this is the Palermo Cazar, I believe. It's also one of my favorites. So it really depends on how intense you want your coffee to be. Some people like more roasty, dark feeling. Um, yeah, I like the, to experiment with all different types of coffee. I'm not just sticking to one for this, uh, for, a, for a cappuccino. So yes, you can choose your own, find your own favorite coffee and you can make cappuccino with it. The second tip for cappuccino is, um, which I think is more important than choosing the right capsule, is choosing the right milk. So <laughs> a cappuccino is a milk-based drink. So the most important thing is you need a milk frother. You can buy something like this. I bought mine in a set, but you can use even a hand frother, like milk, that will give you that thick and dense foam. Um, you need to look, if you're looking for cow milk, which, yeah, I know a lot of people that is their first choice. Make sure you look for something with high fat percentage, like a full cream. Use the thick, you know, thick milk with a full cream, and that's going to give you the best, thickest foam that lasts. Uh, for plant-based milk, it's more complicated to get a good foam that really sticks. So um, I recommend you to try a different types of barista milk. I personally like almond milk, that flavor of almond milk, but I can't find an almond milk that really foams up that um, super thick. So um, instead I recommend this uh, soy milk or you can find oat milk. They can, with a barista or just make sure they have that barista edition or, or specifically designed for frothing. That means that they are safe to be heated at higher temperatures and they will develop a foam that lasts on your cup of coffee. So yeah, I think these are my tips. I will highly recommend this coffee machine to anyone who likes to have coffee at home, who is in a rush, who uh, likes Starbucks coffee but doesn't want to uh, splurge on it on every single day. This coffee machine I think has helped me to save so much money. I hardly go ever, maybe once a year to Starbucks now since I bought this machine. And um, yeah, if you have any more questions, make sure you leave them down below. And what are your favorite recipes to make with this uh, coffee machine? Let me know again. Um, yeah, see you in my next video.